In this video, we are going to code a subscriber node in Python. This node will subscribe to the topic message topic. I remind you that the publisher node is publishing on that topic. Before you start, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can follow the right pathway to learn robotics with Ross in a structured way without grasping information on the spot, uh, let's say, and figure it out uh, by yourself. That is going to take you a lot of time and resources. If you follow this video, your coding and learning experience will be very smooth. Now let's get started. First of all, as always, uh, let's open Visual Studio Code in the directory of the node practice. Let's re rearrange the scripts in order to have more order. And create a new Python script in the scripts folder. You are going to code a subscriber node in Python on the right side and on the left side we keep our C++ script open for comparison. Let's copy the first line for initialize the interpreter of Python 3. You can just copy it from the previous PyDog code. Then let's import the rospy and string library. Now you, we can create the main section with the, the if statement. And then we initialize the node and let's call it this time subscriber underscore pi. Then you can create a subscriber object. Let's call it sub and then type rospy.subscriber the name of the topic that is gonna be message topic the type of the topic that is gonna be string type and finally the callback function like we did in C++. Finally 
Finally, we can call our spin function that allows us to repeat the main loop like an infinite loop that is keep running as long as the node is not killed. Then, we need to create our callback function. So, in Python, we need to put def. Then, let's call it callback with capital C underscore pi. and the message variable that we need to pass as an input, which is what the node is getting from the topic message underscore topic. What we are going to do inside the callback function? Well, uh, simply, we can just display a message on the terminal by calling the loginfo function and display the message that we are getting. That is enough for creating a subscriber in Python. So, as a recap, you have to set up the main function, initialize the node, giving it a name, then create a subscriber object with the proper syntax of Python for using the subscriber function, then use the spin function of Python, and finally, you need to write the callback function passing the variable that is getting from the topic as an input. I recall that every time that you have a subscriber object, you need to have a callback function as well. Then save the file and go to the script folder and make the file that you just have written before and an executable one. You can do this by typing cmod plus x and the name of the file. That is gonna be subscriber underscore pi dot pi. And here we go. Then you have set up everything for testing the new node. So open a new terminal and run the ROS master by typing ROS core. Okay, the ROS master is running. And then run the subscriber node by typing ROS run. The name of the package that is gonna be node underscore practice and the subscriber executable which will be subscriber underscore pi dot pi and here we go the python node that you have written is running and he is hearing everything that is coming from the topic message underscore topic. In fact, if you open another terminal and run a publisher node, for example, the one written in Python, you can see that once the publisher node is publishing on the topic message topic, the subscriber hear that message and elaborate the data in the way that you have decided in the callback function. This will be, in our case, to simply display on the terminal the message that the publisher node is publishing. 
Now let's see what are the topic that are running at the moment by typing ROS topic list. Here we go. We have our message underscore topic topic. And finally, we can see our message topic, what is inside. So we can run ROS topic echo and then the name of the topic, message topic. Here we go. You can see here the message that is publishing and what is hearing from the subscriber. So basically here we are seeing that the message coming from the publisher are correctly transmitted to the publisher. Now it always a good practice to visualize the publisher subscriber architecture. So you can run the RQT graph by typing, I remember you, ROS run RQT graph, the name of the package and the name of executable, which is going to be RQT graph as well. Okay, and then you can see in a moment here that the publisher is publishing on the topic message topic and the subscriber node that we have just written is subscribing to that topic as well. Now, if we change the node of the subscriber, but since that it's subscribing to the same topic, the result doesn't change. For example, if we run the subscriber node written in C++, you will see that the result doesn't change. Let's update the RQT graph. Here you go. We have the subscriber node written in C++ that is correctly um, subscribing to the message topic topic that is publishing by the publisher Python node. That's all for today. If you think to get value from this video, subscribe to the channel so you will not lose the next topic where we are going to make a complete comparison between all the nodes that we have written so far together. And you will learn how to modify a node that contains both subscriber and publisher. Well, thanks for your attention and keep learning robotics with Ross.